Hi guys, this is Rosa Kelly. Welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be working with the Cascading Petals collection by Heartfelt Creations. I showed you last week the full collection release and we did a project with it. So today we're gonna be working on a little flip book using this decorative cage die. This die it's a must have on your list of dies. Like if you are to invest in one, oh my gosh, I absolutely love this die. So I figure this die comes with two pieces. So I figure we are gonna be using um, the little piece that frames the the cage and make a little flip book, flip, flip book. <laughs> and make a little flip book with this die. So that's what we're gonna be doing. Also last week I shared with you how I uh, basically just stamp and color and cut these little flower petals. These are, I believe, the Wisperia petals stamp and die. Also, we use these um, little birdies here. I'm not sure if we're gonna use the birds or we're actually going to use the birds because these ones are smaller. Uh, let me show you. The stamp's a little bit larger than the birds that come on the... Um, collection so I'm not sure yet but let's go ahead and get started so besides the collection what I'm gonna be using is a hundred and ten pound cardstock which is this one and that is going to be the base of our little flip book so I'm gonna cut these pages in half just so I can round my die and I guess on each page we can cut two so we're probably gonna do six of these little shapes Okay, so here I have the five, uh, six actually, six pieces of that beautiful cage die. And I'm going to also cut the same shape of die using some of my beautiful paper. I'm gonna use this one because I already have a piece cut out from there and some of these ones as well. So I have all of my pieces here and now what we're gonna do is just simply glue one on top of one just like that to create our little pages i'm not going to do the back but you are welcome to do um double the pieces if you want to decorate both sides i think i'm just gonna make them go um, one-sided so i'm going to just go ahead and glue the pieces down Okay, so now we have the little pages done. I'm going to use this other die here, the beautiful decorated die, and I'm going to cut this actually on white cardstock, and then we're gonna glue that piece on top of this pink one here, and this is going to be for our cover. So here's the beautiful die. I cut it on white cardstock. And now we are going to glue this onto our pink base. I went ahead and took out the door because there's this page here that has the smaller little tickets so i went ahead and cut this little birdie out of there and we are going to put it right here on the center so i wanted to take the door out so we can frame that little bird in there but you can definitely keep the door if you like i'm just gonna add this piece right there okay so just like that and then I'm going to add the pretty little bird here so cute 
cute. Something about birds in cages that I just, I kind of want them to look free, you know? The door's open, it's her option to stay in or come out. <laughs> okay, so now we have this. This is gonna be our cover page and uh, I'm gonna put them all together right now so I can punch a hole. Actually, I'm going to do three at a time probably. I'm going to use my puncher here. I'm gonna use the larger um, hole and I'm just gonna poke it right here on inside this heart piece like that okay and then I'm going to grab one of these and just match it up with these ones and hope it's not too thick okay and then we're just gonna make the hole right on the same position just like that and we're gonna use a ring binder to keep this together so here we go we're just gonna grab one of these and let's see how that looks make sure that you can flip through the pages yep so that works now what i'm going to do is decorate each one of these pages i'm just going to speak through this process and i'll come back at the end to show you what we did
Okay, so now we have all the pages decorated and we are going to put it all together again. Um, so this time I'm actually going to pick an order that I want. And let me just do this one, this one, maybe this one here, uh, this and that. So I did put a piece of chipboard in between uh, my little car here and the base to give it a little bit of dimension and I think it looks more interesting when you have a little depth to it and this little area so you can just add a little journal and maybe add a picture on the back or you can add a picture here as well so now I'm going to just put them all together using my ring and the cover of course i really love how this turned out i think it looks really sweet really romantic and that is my little flip book for you guys i hope that you like it i hope that you enjoy this tutorial and that you are a little bit inspired with my project there's so many things that we can do with this beautiful um, cage die and this beautiful paper collection i'm gonna have the link to harford creations on the description box below also this little flip book um, i'm gonna have instructions on the blog on how i made it i mean it's pretty easy and straightforward but uh, make sure to check that out as well i want to thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye bye